Friends, this is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract with faculitic glaucoma. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision of the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratin. And now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away now I ask for a Simco cannula to do a lavage of the anterior chamber and see what happens what we can see after the lavage So this is the 23G Simco cannula and we can see the iris details now. We can see some bands, fibrinous bands. These are probably because of inflammation. You can see a bit of blood hyphema in the anterior chamber and everything comes off you can see some bleeding points here and there and the people is very small we instilled people dilating drops but there is no effect of that and now my plan is to use some people expansion device in this case but the people is so small that I need to stress the people a bit and then try applying some people expansion device. Otherwise, I could use iris hooks and probably that would have been better in this case. However, I proceed inject air bubble, inject some tripan blue dye under the iris so that it goes all around. Wash the dye. This is a bit of adrenaline and as expected adrenaline didn't have any effect in this case. wash the dye out using BSS and the 23G Simco cannula and now inject visco and then I plan injecting visco some amount of visco behind the iris and now I plan stressing these people with two Kuglen hooks so I dilate Trace the people inject visco again and again use the two hooks. in stress in this way and then 90 degree away I'm afraid of stressing too much 
because there are some bleeding points over the iris surface. And now I thought this much size of the people may not be enough for application of BHEX people expander. So I took a Vana scissor and do sphincterotomies in some areas. And this may help in applying the VHEX people expansion device. I had to struggle a bit for applying the VHEX people expander. Ultimately, I could do it. And now the anti capsule is incised with the 26 case bay needle and milky fluid comes out. I take a uh, 23G Simco cannula, wash the milky fluid and then fill off the anterior chamber with visco and use this uterator forceps to do an optimum sized rexus. This is a long surgery and I am going to show up to the nucleus management. So very carefully rexus is done. I cannot hurry up at this stage. And now I take the Feco handpiece and enter into the anterior chamber with the bevel of the Feco needle towards the lens mass. Because if we go bevel off, we cannot engage the Feco needle into the substance of the lens mass. With bevel down, the tip gets occluded and we can go into the lens mass. And here I hold the nucleus firmly and do a nice crack here. But I find the cataract very hard just like stone ninety degree away I make another try to make another crack but it is so hard it's not getting getting even engaged. Ultimately, I could engage the teeth. Turn the handpiece, made the bevel up. And now trying to yes go through that edge of that crack one more thing that is coming to my mind is that this 
junior is not very healthy the patient is a 90 year old lady and so hard cataract hypermature morganian cataract with so much inflammation inside the eye so there must be some weak junior and here I find that the anterior capsular rim of the inferior part is coming forward, coming anteriorly. However, I try to emulsify some bits and pieces and I'm keeping an eye on the behavior of the capsule whether there is any genular dialysis or not, whether I should continue or not, and now I decide to stop here. Inject visco, stop irrigation and inject some more visco, and then I come out. And then I apply a capsular tension ring. Here goes the ring. And the trailing end of the capsular tension ring is gently placed in the bag. And now the bag is nicely supported. And then I push the nucleus a little down, make some space, and inject visco here. Then I inject the intraocular lens in the capsular bag. This is a hydrophilic acrylic lens and it easily goes into the capsular bag. And now the bag is supported, the posterior capsule is protected and now I can have some relief in my mind and very confidently I start emulsifying the nucleus with bevel of the phaco teeth downward that is towards the posterior capsule because the posterior capsule is nicely protected by the eye well acting as an scaffold. I am using 80% ultrasonic energy, 40 ml per minute flow rate and 400 millimeter of vacuum at this time. And this is done, a small piece of nucleus is at the side port that was removed later and the rest of the surgery is as usual. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give you some very important tips to manage such cases. Given a second chance, I will probably use iris hooks 
instead of p hex people expansion device in this case. The people was very small. I had to do sphincterotomy. I had to cut the sphincter. So it was better that I use iris hooks instead of people expansion device. Thank you very much for your attention.